Magandang araw. Welcome sa Clark in Focus. Ito ang programa ng Clark Development Corporation kaugnay sa mahalagang impormasyon at pinakabagong kaganapan dito sa Clark Freeport Zone. Sa ngalan ni Andre Benedict Rivera, ako po si Poy Lorenzo. Para sa unang bahagi ng programa, ang kahalagaan ng work-life balance ang pinopromote ng isa sa fastest growing business process outsourcing company dito sa Clark, ang BIP. Ang bansang Pilipinas ay di lang sa gana sa mga likas na yaman, kundi sa talento at kakayahan ng mga Pilipino. Yan ang natuklasan ng isang Australian investor sa kanyang pagbisita sa bansa. Bunga nito, Isang kumpanya dito sa Clark ang naitayo noong 2014 na kabilang sa hanay ng Business Process Outsourcing o BPO. Ang nasabing BPO company ay tinawag na BPO. Ito ang nag-uugnay sa mga talents dito sa bansa sa mga kumpanya sa Australia. Samantala, ilan sa mga services na kanilang ino-offer ay graphic design, digital marketing, social media, sales support, human resources support, administration and bookkeeping maging business startup. Maliban sa work-life balance na pinopromote ng nasabing kumpanya, alamin ang iba pang detalye kung bakit napiling mag-invest ng BPO sa Clark, pati na rin ang job openings at maging future plans nito. Dito lamang sa Locator in Focus. Okay, uh, so BIPO started back in 2014 uh, in a small room, so it started with just six employees, that's including the CEO, Amy Engelman, and her husband, uh, the co-founder, Mark Engelman. So uh, it started with just a one room, and then in a span of six months, we have acquired uh, different rooms, which uh, I believe it was a total of six rooms before we transferred here back in May of 2015. So, uh, BPO is a fully Australian-owned outsourcing company. So, basically, it is really being managed by Amy remotely back in Australia. We have around 200 employees, 220 employees, uh, and we're continuously hiring to grow the organization. Why Clark in particular? Well, not only is the Philippines rich in natural resources, we are also rich in globally competitive talent, which we have here in Pampanga. Why Clark? The landscape is beautiful. Um, it's just so relaxing to work here, but easily accessible by uh, public transport. Well, we have over 90% of our workforce is Kapampanan, um, living around, I would say, Central Luzon. They're hardworking. They love passion. <laughs> <laughs> they love to eat. So they just enjoy what the company has to offer, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, I think uh, everyone is aware that uh, Manila is becoming really congested. So there are some locals like Rafael Locapampangan who actually works in Manila. And now that we have these uh, Australian companies who really offer like a work-life balance, so in any way they are being encouraged and influenced to go back in the region. So I think that's also another consideration why we have chosen Clark, given that it's Everything is seven minutes, as they say. Seven minutes if you want to play golf, if you want to go to hotel, if you want to go to the mall, if you want to go to the airport. Everything is seven minutes. 
we also have this uh, good um, security, especially not only for us uh, employees, but also with our um, locators. Uh, we, we, in Beeple, we are offering a wide range of services, starting with uh, accountants, graphic designers, uh, developers, uh, digital marketers, uh, CAD operators, uh, appointment setters. So basically, what the client needs, we can provide actually here. So um, the difference is, well, let's start with the traditional DPO, which we call as the call center. So back in uh, late 1990s after the early 2000s, most of the BPOs that have located, even here in Clark, are uh, mostly voice uh, services centric. So they are call centers, uh, they, they do have a mass number of call center agents taking customer service calls from, uh, let's say, telco companies uh, and other industries. Now, the difference now is uh, non-voice has expanded such that if you are, let's say, a software developer and you want to grow your career in software development, you don't want to be a call center agent. Well, now we have the opportunity to do that because um, like people, we provide opportunities for you to be, to be a software developer in a BPO company with a very competitive salary rate, uh, catering to international clients. So that's the difference now. For non-voice, we have um, we now have software developers, graphic designers, for those who are creative, content writers, if you are into blogging or writing, and various um, roles that were 10 years ago were not available, but now uh, it's a growing industry, so it's something that uh, definitely our uh, companions and those mm. around the region can can get as a as a career in the EPO industry. So it has uh, really grown into a wide range. So uh, technical uh, technical skills, accounting skills, uh, administrative skills. So what really s uh, is very saleable with the Australian market is uh, the executive assistant or virtual assistant as they say. So it's uh, you will be like uh, a virtual secretary for your boss. So you could be managing their calendars, their emails, writing pro uh, letter proposals. So I think that's a simple yet a very saleable uh, position to, to our clients back in Australia. All of them are VIP. All of them. All are of VIP. them. <laughs> <laughs> Very VIP. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what we we provide. Mm. Yes. Yeah. The services is what they really value and what they go after from people. Yeah. Plus, it's actually one of our values, which is sophistication. So, we want to make sure that what we provide and what service we give to our clients and to our staff, it's world class. Okay. And just to give you an idea on the range of services that we can now uh, cater to. We have clients that are hotel chains, we have clients that are in the telco industry, we have uh, uh, clients uh, that are in this, even small businesses, like for example, they offer cleaning services to businesses. So uh, it's a wide range of service that is now uh, available and the talents are available here in the region. Mm -hmm. So uh, really right now the opportunity to to be in the BPO and to offer services to various international clients uh, in Clark, especially, is it, this is the best time. We always have uh, new uh, new positions open, um, and Clark has been very uh, CDC in particular has been very helpful in getting us the manpower we need through various media, like for example, they host job fairs uh, for locators which is a, a very important venue for us, not just to market the positions, but to market the company as well. People being very new in the industry. Um, also, uh, CDC has provided us, even to the point of you know giving us actual applicants, actual candidates uh, who apply uh, at CDC. So we actually get those resumes and uh, contact them, and uh, they're qualified, and uh, they meet all of our requirements we actually hired them. Um, right now, actually, we just recently launched our internship program where we hire OJTs from various universities and give them a feel of what it actually feels like to work for people. Uh, and it's not, uh, I, I want to say that it's something that they can really value and find uh, 
uh, useful because it's something that they can actually put in their resume. Uh, you know, uh, it's what we offer them is an actual work, an actual job. We give them the right exposure so that in the future uh, we can actually hire them. And uh, for some of our OJTs, we've actually hired them after they graduated. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think uh, one of the selling points of uh, most Australian companies is the work-life balance because technically, you mo not to work at night mm -hmm. and you can spend the rest of your hours after shift either with your loved ones or you know you do some activities inside Clark like in the parade ground for free where you can walk, you can do running. And I, I think what is different as well with Australian companies, particularly Depot, is that it has changed uh, the views of um, the staff or even the applicants about what is working in the office, like in a call center setup. Because here in Depot, the staff, they work directly with the, the owner of the company back in Australia. It could either be the CEO, the managing director, or it could either be the, the CFO. So meaning they have a direct interaction. And what we do in Vivo then is we liaise with our staff together with the point of contact by back in Australia to make sure that we bridge any gap in terms of culture and communication. So we also have our chill zone, as you can see, where in during break during their breaks break schedules, uh, they could actually play with their uh, with their colleagues for an hour. Downstairs we have uh, the uh, cafeteria where you can grab your coffee in the morning. We also have some other activities in the company that uh, we administer, like uh, general assembly, um, some reward and recognition, fun activities, um, birthdays, Christmas party, anniversary birthdays, and stuff like that. Well, just like what Mitch have mentioned earlier, we started in building building six with just like less than ten staff, and then a um, few months after that, before ending the year, we have expanded into six rooms. And uh, last year, we moved in Building 9, and this uh, facility can actually accommodate to 700 heads. And our ultimate goal in Vivo is to grow the company into 5,000 strong. So, meaning 5,000 workforce, uh, definitely there is an expansion. And we really need help of uh, the Clark Development Corporation in making sure that you know, they they continually support our uh, locators and you know providing support in terms of manpower and looking you know looking for right talents that can join us here in Vivo. We are targeting uh, five thousand strong, five thousand headcount yeah. in, in twenty twenty. Well, to all our fellow viewers, our fellow kapampangans, probably um, they are wondering what is Vivo, what is out there, what is Vivo is all about. So. They can visit our website at vivo.com.ph where it, uh, it has all the job openings of, uh, of our company. Uh, they can also visit uh, vivo.com.au to know more about um, the culture, the team, the organization. And uh, for any job um, openings, just like what Jesse had mentioned earlier, they can also visit our Facebook. So you look at it and then search for uh, Vivo. To so all our televiewers who are watching right now, and we're seeking for a work-life balance. Hi, I'm Eric Gabriel Ambayan, one of the IT staff here at Vivo. So our main uh, work now in Dito is to prevent a uh, stable and good internet connection. Your main uh, work talaga namin is to give uh, good service on our client. Mas satisfy sila with our work. Vivo is your employer of choice, and we are excited for you to join our team. Uh, hi, I'm Ariane. I'm a digital marketing officer for Vivo. Um, I'm in charge of uh, updating and maintaining the social media calendar for the company. So go visit us at people.com.ph or feel free to drop by at Phil Excel Clark. So the best part of my job is basically researching uh, about trends and campaigns on ways on how we could market our positions here at Vivo. Welcome to Vivo! You are watching Clark in Focus.